In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get the date out of a field like this that contains both the date and the time. And so the easiest way to do this is by actually just using the date function itself. You'll notice there's an argument for the year, month, and the date. And the year also has its own function. So what I can do is select this cell and it's going to extract the year from here. And then the same thing for the month function, reference that. And the day function, the same thing. So I close that out. And now I've got the day, month, and the year in here. But I haven't copied over the, the time value of, of 1600 hours. So I can copy this down. And it goes all the way to the end. Now one way I can check to make sure that there hasn't been any time is I can use the hour function. Select this cell here and it shows you 16. So for 4 p.m. The hour function for this returns a value of zero. So there you can see that it did not transfer the hours or, or any time. And so if you're good with this, what you can do now is copy this entire column and paste as values. And so now you've replaced that with just a simple formula using the date function. And then within that, using the year, month, and day functions and referencing the exact same cells. And then once you copy it as values, there you go, you're done.